Well, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and today a nonprofit here in the East held an event to educate people on the issue. Alyssa Hefner was at the event and spoke to the outreach coordinator and the guest speaker. She's live now with the story. Alyssa. Courtney, one in three women and one in seven men have experienced domestic violence. That's why the Center for Families of Violence Prevention Outreach Coordinator says things like the luncheon are so important because you most likely know someone who's been impacted. Many gathered in Greenville Tuesday for the annual Impact Luncheon hosted by the Center for Family Violence Prevention as October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. It allows the community to hear stories from victims um, and it also encourages them to participate and help in fighting domestic violence that goes beyond Domestic Violence Awareness Month. You have a month to honor it, but victims live this every day of every week of every month of the year. There was also a silent auction during the luncheon to help raise money for the families they serve. This money is available to use as we see fit for an individual client, for specific personal needs for the clients we serve. And so this money is a direct conduit to the people who need it most in our community. Which is needed now more than ever since the center says they recently lost 55% of their state and federal funding. But the amount of people who need help continues to go up. Sadly, the strides have been um, an increase in the number of clients served. Um, in this past year, we received requests for help from 1,448 victims, and that's from Pitt, Martin, and Washington counties. Shepard, who was abused while she was a student at ECU, now gives her time to help those who are going through what she experienced. She says even if you're not able to give financially, there is still so much you can do to help. You have victims who can't leave situations because they don't have jobs. Um, if you can assist with supporting with clothing, helping with resumes, helping with interview prep, that will go a long way because leaving is one thing, but staying away is another. According to the North Carolina Department of Administration, there is an upward trend in domestic violence with Pitt County's Crisis Intervention Center serving over 500 people for, since 2021 to 2022. Reporting live in Greenville, Alyssa Hafner, WITN News. All right, thanks, Alyssa. And the latest stats also show there is a rise in homicides related to domestic violence with 57 so far in North Carolina this year and three of those in Pitt County.